All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Unity. This episode is going to be pretty interesting since uh, we're going to be doing another murder mystery. Uh, these missions are uh, my favorite, so uh, yeah, without any further ado. And honestly, this honestly just like fits the ambience of like everything. It's cloudy, we're in a cemetery, uh, I'm wearing my prowler outfit, you know, so uh, yeah, let's get it. I'm not too sure if this is the way where you have to go to get to the mission. The mission uh, itself is underground, so... I assume this is uh, the right direction. Okay, yeah, there we go. Alright, so we're going to be doing the death of Philip Philibert Esperet. Solve the murder mystery in the Paris catacombs. Oh yeah, this is going to be fun. For sure. Start it up. Nope. Need the option. There we go. As right, so we have a well-worn Bible, it is covered in blood and stamped by a local convent, the Covent des Filets de Infant Jesus, uh, 84 Rui de Save. I butchered that completely. I am sorry for anyone that knows French. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. It. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So I think there's a necklace there. A few scattered beets in the dirt look to be made of rosewood. Street filled with shattered bottles of uh, atres and surrounded by dirt. It looks to have been buried for several years. The address of the local tavern is carved on the side. Five Rue de Save. Maybe the barkeep could point me to who the owner is. A first aid kit, the address to the local apothecary is stitched inside 99 Avenue de Brutaloui. Brutal? Brutal. A heavily used shovel with a very dull blade. The shaft bears a markers, a maker's mark and is cracked. I can't read today at all. And it's cracked down the middle. It has been reinforced with cloth. Someone has kept the shovel for a long time. There we go. A set of keys hooked onto a key ring. Okay. Yeah, I think that was that. All right, so we gotta visit uh, six locations. Uh, wait, was this the way out? No, no, no. It was uh, it was through here actually. Didn't mean to do that. Oop. I was about to say, how do I get out of here? Oh, shit. Alright, so the closest one is... Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, the closest one is this one uh, out here. And there seems to be a couple guards. That's one of our Bibles. We hand out so many of these to those in need of God's embrace. And that's the blood of Christ, my son. Do you feel his call? The chartreuse? That's none of your business. Best you move along. Idle hands. Well, that's not suspicious. I was gonna say maybe she's just an asshole right uh, I feel like we can't really just blame her like that because we found a Bible down there we also found some bottles so I mean the guy could have been religious you know what I mean Now, if they said that these bottles came from uh, came from the same location, the broken bottles, uh, that would have been more suspicious. That would have definitely been like raised an eyebrow, in my opinion. Uh, 
Let's go to this one. First of all, let's talk to this guy. He looks like an executioner. This graveyard's been too busy for my liking. I got missing tools, and someone even broke into the catacombs. Found a pretty rosewood cross down there, though. Thought I'd give it to the convent. Wait, did he say that he gave a? Wait, 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 this graveyard's been too busy for my liking. I got missing tools, and someone even broke into the catacombs. Found a pretty rosewood cross down there, though. Thought I'd give it to the convent. All right, so he found a rosewood. I thought he gave them a shovel. Oh, my bad. I, I misheard uh, that, but uh, he gave them a rosewood uh, cross. Well, he found a rosewood cross over there. He gave it to the convent. Uh, okay. I think that could have still belonged to uh, Phil Philbert. I think that's how you pronounce his name. That is true. If it's new, you know, you would expect uh, it to be a bit worn out, just like the, the one downstairs in the catacombs. The wooden cross looks to be made of the same rosewood as the beads at the crime. All right, so that's actually really interesting. Because, you know, normally you put beads on... Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, on a rosary, right? And then a uh, rosary would have a cross. Um, I actually have one myself. So, so yeah, I think uh, I think maybe the cross was snatched off the, uh, the rosary, which made the beads fall off, and that's why you only find the beads and the cross was taken. So there's that. And they're also made from the same material. Okay, now this is more suspicious now. Okay, so there's an exact same Bible sent by the same covenant, I assume. Uh, all right, so, uh, okay, this grave digger is definitely looking a bit more suspicious now. All right, so can we, can we actually see this one? The first he built coffin, so it would have easily fit inside. Okay, so this is uh, so far this guy's my number one target at the moment since um, I think everything fits perfectly. Uh, you know, there's a cross that uh, was made from uh, the same uh, wood that the beads were made. Brand new shovel. We found an old shovel down there right next to uh, Philip Hurt's uh, body. Found the same type of uh, Bible. Uh, and not to mention that I assume that maybe he had a motive, motive to kill a. Uh, Philperts, and that was maybe because he was running out of work and he needed a target to get more work in a sense. Uh, that's my major, uh, my major thing right now. Yeah, so he's uh, the number one target right now. Then it would be uh, the nun over here. So what comes in clues? Oh, okay, there we go. Say I talk to him. My music keeps me busy enough. Yeah, Billy Bear was here, bought us a few rounds. Kept going on and on about his sister. I thought he was an orphan, but who knows? Sure, Philly Bear was here last night. I had to cut the bastard off. That dumb drunk owes me plenty of coin. Promised he'd pay with enough shekel to last me a year. I was dumb enough to believe him. I'll check with the regulars. They might know more. Mm. Right, so this guy takes uh, third place in my book. Uh, so Philip Hurt definitely uh, de uh, owed him money. So that's uh, that's another good reason. And a good amount of money. And then promised him money but never uh, paid him. There's that. All right, so that's very interesting. That's very interesting. You know, now that I'm thinking about the grave digger, right? 
you know how before in the murder mysteries I would ramble on that, you know, they wouldn't be so obvious until there was an obvious, uh, you know, uh, person that we could have accused early on and, uh, you know, all the all the signs were pointing at that person and even she herself was like, yeah, I'm the killer, but I was like, it's too obvious, I don't think it's her. Um, maybe that's the same case over here, maybe they're making it seem that obvious that it's the grave digger and in reality it could be. But at the same time, what if it's just too obvious and it's not? Fool. Buy me a drink, and I might remember. <laughs> Maybe. We gotta get him a drink or something. Also, those they emit a faint green glow. I love that fool. Buy me a drink. Probablement un voleur. Philibert. I sent him to retrieve supplies from the merchant days ago, and he's not returned. You'd have to ask Philly Bear where the hell Philly Bear has gone. I'll write down the address, but first, I'll take my keys back. Thank you very much. All right, so I don't think uh, we could accuse this guy. I don't think it's him uh, at all. I think he's honestly the last person I would accuse. Or maybe they just didn't give us enough evidence, so there's that too. Oh, there's another shovel. Alright, so this one has the same mark as the one we found at the crime scene. And now it's making me think, does the grave where does the grave diggers uh shovel have the same mark too or, or it was unmarked? It's quite rare. You know, the Carthusian monks are famous for making it, and the Carthusian nuns are just as famous for hiding it as well. Oh, interesting. All right. So, I think that's, uh, I think that, yeah, I think that's about it. I think uh, we don't have any. <laughs> any uh, other location where we could go at all um i will say that i am a bit confused on who it could be i want to blame the grave digger but at the same time it's like it could be him it could be him that you know it's all obvious and it's there but at the same time that's the thing it's just very obvious and i don't think they would do it again you know point the finger at the at the most obvious point person there is that I sent him to retrieve supplies from the merchant days ago, and he's not returned. You'd have to ask Philly Bear where the hell Philly Bear has gone. I'll write down the address, but first, I'll take my keys back. Thank you very much. He said we're going to write down an address, but what address was he talking about? I don't think uh, I see it anywhere in the map. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere in the map. Um, so my second, second suspect was the sister, the nun. He did give us an attitude. I don't think that's enough for us to, you know, really blame her for anything. But, uh, I think she was in second place. And then third place was the guy that got owned money. But I feel like his was a bit genuine. Genuine. I don't think, uh, he would have been the, uh, the, the person. Even though I really want to blame him. Um, so, yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think I see any other uh, locations we could visit. I think we got six out of six. Uh, let me actually check the map. Oh no, there's one more location right here. Oh no, that's the uh, that's where the body's located. That's where uh, Philippe is located. You know what? Just to make sure, I want I want to go down there real quick and uh, make sure that uh, 
that that is the same location. Just in case. Okay, it is the same location. All right, so uh, honestly, we don't have anything else to do besides, uh, you know, go to the database and uh, check out the, the the case files. Let's start from the very bottom. All right, let's see. That is true, and that type of drink they did mention that the uh, the the people in the in the in the convent were uh, responsible for making those type of drinks. So there's that. he was going on about his sister even though she, he thought he was an orphan so we haven't heard anything about a sister at all from what I've uh, from what we've heard or been through around uh, that little area and talked to people so maybe in terms of sister he's talking about like the nun because you know they do call them sisters so there's that Antoine the nurse <laughs> A few bottles of uh, chartreuse, they emit a faint green glow. All right, so that that gives a, a little uh, little insight into the merchant. So he's very interested in the drink that they make. All right, but then again, it wouldn't make sense why he would go to Falbert unless Falbert was on the way to delivering those drinks to the bartender, and uh, he killed him in a sense to get the recipe or whatever or to get a drink. You know what I mean? Would that makes any sense. Yeah, according to the sister. All right, so something is up with this drink that they're uh, hiding. So they're known for hiding these things and they don't like to talk about it.
Wait a second, did the keys belong to, uh... What did they belong to? Uh, they belonged to the merchant, didn't they? Yeah, I think they did. So, wait, hold on, hold on. Now I'm, now I'm really curious, like... They mentioned who the keys belong to? I'm trying to remember now. Was that the sister or the merchant? I think it was the merchant, right? Or no, it was the sister. Damn it. Oh my god, I just thought of something. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain what I just thought of after uh, I finish reading this, just in case. Okay, so, okay, okay, I'm thinking this now. So, what if the sister that Bible did belong to her? He broke in into the graveyard's uh, stuff, took the shovel, right? Went down there, and because Bill Burtz promised the bartender that he was going to pay him in uh, with the drink that, you know, the convent makes, or the priests there make, uh, he, he broke down there, he broke, uh, he, he broke into the catacombs, found the stash and uh you know since it was in a sense freshly dug in up i assume because there were uh there were uh let me go back to it where, where was it at um yeah bottles covered in a, a light film of dirt what if she went down there and in order for him not to not to give out the the the, the drinks away was like nah you're not taking these and she killed them on the spot and maybe she didn't even steal the the shovel maybe she literally found it since she's in a grave site and that was her her, her resource and phil Burt's trying to fight her off he grabbed the, the 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 necklace the person had in a sense ripped it that's why you find beats right next to his body and uh it, the, the the grave digger found a um a cross made from the same materials as the beads as it could have been a rosary to begin with who wears rosary uh sisters nuns uh people from the church so uh there is that all right that's uh that's interesting all right so right now my top three suspects are now the sister uh from the convent the grave digger and the merchant in that particular earlier uh, order i would put them in uh, I would say the bartender, but I don't think it, it's the bartender. I, I can't take away the bartender. Um, I really hope I'm right and it's the sister. Because if it's not, I'm going to feel really stupid. Because in a sense, uh, you know, the signs were pointing towards the grave digger as well. So uh, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try and uh, see, see, see what's up. My hands are actually sweating on this one, low-key. <laughs> yes, that's one of our Bibles. We hand out so many of these to those in need of God's embrace. The Lord bestowed this chartreuse to us for good reason. I would never allow a peasant to tarnish its name. Wait, so was her, right? That, that's the confirmation? Must I be made to suffer for being guided by the hand of the Lord? All right, so I guess we did end up getting our suspect, so that's pretty cool. I'm sure Philibert had noble intentions, but even I know not to touch that chartreuse. Find a weapon you like. It's yours. Get it back! Yeah, so I think this uh, this mission, this murder mystery, I should say, was the one that really had my uh, hands sweating the most since uh, 
I wasn't really sure whether it was gonna be the the grave digger or the or the nun or the sister, I should say. And uh, yeah, I think that one was the one that really like got me thinking. Like, was it the nun or the grave digger? Because I feel like both had an equal amount of chances to be. The grave digger was very uh, it was very like out there that it could have been him in terms of like what we found around the area and what he was telling us. Uh, but then again, after like going through every uh, piece of evidence we found, it did kind of point uh, towards the sister a bit more. So there's that. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. This was a really cool uh, murder mystery. I really liked it, especially since it took us to the catacombs. And, uh, you know, it was pretty nice. I liked it. But uh, yeah, once again, thanks for watching. I'll definitely see you guys next time. Peace.